gentlemen, live from the famous Acme Comedy Theater in Hollywood, it's Acme Saturday Night! There it is! Starring Ed Ackerman! Derek Dietrich! Claudia Dolph! Richard Keith, Bill Kessler, Jordan Crane, Brett Sheridan, Kevin Small, Brian Spillane. Jake West! Special guest, Daryl Stevens, your musical host. King Straggler and your host, Janina Govankar. And now, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Janina Govankar. I can't 
sweaty, lusty, girl on girl action. Okay, Brett. Oh, yeah, yeah. There was a lot more. Can we show some of that, maybe? We don't that have a different clip, clip so let's just see that one again. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I'm 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 s
sorry. What did you just say? <laughs> Good evening, I'm Richard Keith with this Acme News Update. This week in Palm Beach, Florida, the makers of the kids show Dora the Explorer unveiled a new program to use their show to help teach children Spanish. Here with more on that is Dora the Explorer. Hola, Richard. Hola. Hola, Dora. Now, Dora, I understand, <laughs> I understand that through your adventures, kids will be able to learn basic Spanish words and phrases. Now, we were hoping maybe you could show us an example of that? Si, sí, Richard. Okay. Pelete de chicle. Okay. That, that's... Wow. Uh, that, that's, that's not part of the program, is it? Dora, that's inappropriate and really has nothing to do with learning how to speak Spanish. I, I hope. Oh, <laughs> wow, that's that's like it's a lot of banana. Okay. That's wow. That holy. Okay, you know what? That word doesn't even need to be translated. Well, I'm gonna... Children everywhere are going to be shocked. Dora the Explorer, ladies and gentlemen, we'll be back later in the show with more Acme News. Hey man, you got five bucks for gas? Oh, Frank, uh, thanks for coming. Uh, please, have a seat. Oh, I'm sorry, did you just... Uh, what's, what's with all the chairs, man? Frank, we all care about you and love you very much. Uh, what's, what's going on? Listen, I know an intervention can be intimidating. Uh, intervention? Oh, man, I knew this was coming. Uh, so when does it start? Uh, well, it starts right now. It's, it's started. Look, there's, there's no one here. <laughs> All right, look, I may have overestimated the attendance. <laughs> look, we're going to say a few things, and you just have to listen and accept the help that we're offering. Okay, you keep saying we as if there's other people here, but it's just you. Yes, it's just me. Oh, God, I can barely talk to you. Are you high? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not high. Okay, may we continue? Okay, as long as you stop saying we, it's just weird. Okay, well, we are... I am going to read the prepared letter. Okay. <clears throat> this is from me. <laughs> Frank, you have been my roommate for two years. We used to have many fun times, like when you ate all that raw hamburger. Okay, wait, no, okay. <laughs> so it's, it's just you, really? Yes, no one else? Yes, it's just me. Fine. <laughs> Your addiction to marijuana has erased <laughs> the person I know. Now you lay around the house and no longer have dreams like you once did. Okay, I'm sorry. Do people know when it is? I yes. mean, you know, maybe they're late. Maybe we should wait for... No, the Evite was very clear about the time. Evite? <laughs> you sent an Evite for my intervention. You, you didn't call people. Everyone is on email. I even made a Facebook event. Okay, you know... <laughs> I have a serious problem, okay? You know, and people didn't... You, you, you couldn't even get my parents to show up. Uh, now, actually, I, I have a letter. <laughs> <laughs> to my baby boy, I am sorry I have never expressed how proud I am of you, but now all of your hopes and dreams have gone up in smoke. Please accept the help we're offering. Love always, Mom. My mom wrote that? Well, technically no, it's an example from this intervention book. <laughs> to this little boy in his father's lap. Like, he had dreams. I bet he wanted to be an astronaut, didn't he? That's not even my dad, okay? <laughs> that's, that's not me. It's, uh, you, you, see, you can't even recognize yourself. That's anymore. a picture of a guy and some girl. <laughs> well, there's a resemblance. Okay, why are you doing this? This is 
ridiculous. Well, I mean, I, I always wanted to have an intervention for someone. <laughs> <laughs> you know, this is why I smoke, man. <laughs> Wait, somebody's here. Get, get the door. Well, I'm ready, I'm ready. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just ordered some Thai food. <laughs> so it's, it's just that. All right, well, this is a little draining. I could eat. I, I just ordered enough for me. What? <laughs> yeah. You're an asshole, okay? You have this little intervention. You don't even get me. You can't even get my parents here. You got a picture? I, that's your dad and your sister in that picture. I write, this is where you get Thai food and you don't order any for me? I love Thai food. <laughs> this is bullshit. I'm going to go get high. Uh, last time. <laughs> I'm Rich Keith, here with this Acme News update. We now go live to Acme News correspondent Ed Ackerman with a new segment called Too Soon. Ed? Too soon, Rich? <laughs> too soon, Ed. Back to you, Rich. It wasn't me. Send your letters care of Ed Ackerman, Acme Comedy Theater. Ed Ackerman, everyone. We'll be back later in the show with more Acme News. Seven. Ding ding. Here we go. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah. Here we go. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. This is what I'm talking oh, about. Yeah. This is what go. I'm talking Here about. Here we go. Yeah. Here we go. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh god, yeah. Sweet god, yeah. That is how you do it. This is how you have sex. This is how you have sex. Oh yeah. This is how you do it. So who's your daddy? Who's your daddy? Because he made one sexual god. Are you levitating? Yes, I am because of the awesome sex. Oh, yeah. Are you levitating? Like a flying saucer. Don't stop. I'm not about to. <laughs> and done. Woo! Woo! Oh. oh, yeah, man, that was crazy. Oh, yeah, I think I just went, went back into the future past. Yeah, I saw you go back into the future past. Yeah. <laughs> I just saw myself as my younger self and told myself, wait for all that awesome and amazing sex you're going to have as my older self. <laughs> Complicated, but I know what you're talking about because I lasted for at least half an hour. Oh, yeah, I hope we didn't wake the neighbors. Yeah. It's too late, assholes! <laughs> you can't control animal instinct, bro! Speaking of which, ready, ready for round eight? Are you? Because I'm going to pop your head off. Oh, yeah, you better wear a hard hat on this guy. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, here we go. and said, hey, future self, remember that awesome sex? Oh yeah, what'd your future self say? He just mumbled, but I know what he meant. <laughs> baby, you're so funny, which means let's go again. Yeah, hey baby, why don't we get freaky and have you on top this oh, time? Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I'm go. gonna ride you like yeah. a dragon, riding another dragon who's having awesome and amazing sex. Yeah, ride, 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 Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. oh baby, you're like a freight train carrying coal across the country. And by country, I mean my body. And by coal, I mean coal. <laughs> Who's your mommy? Stephanie Rollins! That's right, your mommy's name is Stephanie Rollins, and my mommy's name is Camden Farron. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. This is how you have sex. This is how you have sex. This is no, how you it's have not! This is how you have sex. Woo! And done! Yes! Oh! Break. Time for a quick break. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's an Aiderade or something. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Woo! Next time we'll be naked. Totally. <laughs> Hello, I'm Acme. I'm Richard Keith with this Acme News update. <laughs> Playing with my computer was too much for my tiny brain. 
Now with the report on the upcoming Pet Fashion Week in New York is our own leisure and lifestyle correspondent, Randy Bennett. Randy? Hi, hello, everybody. Yeah. Hello, Randy. Hello, Rich Keith. How are you? You little tiny bundle of sexy. <laughs> Thank you. You are. You're just a little, little cute sexy candy cane. I'd go door the explorer on you. <laughs> that you didn't. Okay. Why don't you tell us about the fashion show? Oh, that's why I'm here. Mm -hmm. Pet Fashion Week will be taking place in New York at the end of June. Mm -hmm. And all the greatest designers from all over the world are making dresses for dogs and cats. <laughs> I'd put a dress on you, Rich Keys. <laughs> uh, I, I, don't, I don't think I would let you. I'd tackle you. You'd have to. <laughs> First up is a photo of what I like to call a hoy bear. <laughs> oh, look! Isn't he cute? Look at that little sailor. Which reminds me, I have to book my trip back to New York for a fleet week. What? I like sailors. <laughs> I could be the skipper, you'd be my little... All right, next up is a photo. Uh, this is my favorite. It's, oh, look! That dog has sandals. What dog wouldn't want to wear sandals? <laughs> next up, I like to call the sun cat. Wow. Check out the sun cat. Oh, man. Look at that long, hairless thing. Yes. It reminds me of something I got a long and hairless rich teeth. What, what are you talking about? Mm -hmm. But mine only has one eye. <laughs> Can I see it? No, I don't. Let's see, see it. it. No, let's not. Boom! That's what mine looks like. Yours has a green eye? Mm hmm I paint it. <laughs> I just like the movie Jade. Why do I even ask you questions? You know what? You want to put a dress on it, Rich Key? <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll make it hurt. Okay. I don't want to do anything. Bye. <laughs> I'll be back later this evening in the show with more Acme News. Whatever. I didn't want to dance with you anyway, jerk face. <laughs> Go get some punch. 
before I get hit again. <laughs> Why do you always wear black? I want my outsides to reflect my insides. <laughs> You're so deep. <laughs> Why do you dress the way you do? Because this is the biggest skirt that Tori carries. <laughs> Latina yourself. Is that true? <laughs> Look, Latina, you're dark complected. You, you have uh, that kind of spice about what you. What the fuck? Hey, welcome. You're on. Wait, what the fuck are you? you? I'm Red Sheridan. This is my house. Well, then, this is my show. You know what? Janina, your work is delightful. No, I can't. We're not going to leave. It's the house. Oh, God. This is my house. Janina, you're on. Wait, what the fuck are you? Well, then, this is my show. You know what? Janina, your work is delightful. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome once again to the Actors Barn Theater. Before tonight's one-man show, a brief announcement. Our stage manager slash tech guy, Ed, couldn't be here tonight. So he's been replaced by Erica, my girlfriend. Fiance. Fiance. Yeah. And now, written by and starring myself, Gary Handel, the Actors Barn presents Handel, the Future. Oh, hello. <laughs> the future, what does it hold? Dark, abyss of the unknown. Where are we going? Beep, boop. Welcome to the future. Read the, read the script I gave you. OK. <laughs> Why didn't mommy love me? Why do I find myself to sleep? No, no, that's not, that's not the script. That's not the script. Oh, sorry. That's not the diary. No, it's not. That's not in my diary. It says Gary's diary. 
I gave you the wrong. A lot of men have diaries. So let's not judge just based on that. No, it's not really. The future! I often envision myself with kids. Hello, Daddy. Where are your kids? We are. No, don't, they're not Mary Poppins' kids. They're just. <laughs> We're not in England. Just play, play the CD. Play the CD. Ed has it. Ed, you use what's back there. Use whatever you have. Just use what's back. I hear the thumping of my heart. <laughs> All right, we get it. I hear, the, I hear the deep gong of the cathedral bells. It's not, it's a cathedral. They, it's a deeper baritone bass. And the cathedral bells, the cathedral bells make me nervous. It's my heart beats that. And I arrive in the future with my silver spacesuit. <coughs> Full of technology and wondrous. <laughs> where's, where's the costume? I have the, the costume. Uh, Ed has it. <laughs> and my laser gun. My laser gun, which is. <laughs> so Ed has everything? Is that what's going on? Yeah. Great. Thank you. <laughs> Though I have futuristic weapons, and I am not afraid. To use them, my only true enemy is insecurity. Blingon's attack! Shields up, Spock! I captain! It's not, it's not, sorry, it's my insecurity! My insecurity! I fight back, I fight back against... Die, Klingon! Die! It's a metaphysical fight. God damn you! I'm Acme News correspondent Brian Spillane live at the Golden Gate Bridge where the state of California has suddenly climbed to the top and is threatening to jump off and kill itself over the state's financial meltdown and impending bankruptcy. Bystanders heard the state mumbling to itself that it felt more worthless than Puerto Rico. Oregon and Washington have been standing by trying to talk the state down, but Texas is here just getting drunk and taunting and yelling, jump, jump, I dare you, you pussy, throwing beer. It left this note. I have nothing left to live for. I'm giving you back your locket because I want you to think of what you took from me every time you see it. Sad state of affairs. We'll keep you abreast of this uh, dire situation as it updates. normal for 
10 minutes, okay? And I know that Charlie loves board games, like right, Charlie? <laughs> Richard Keith, here are tonight's top stories. 
Last week, General Motors filed for bankruptcy, clearing the way for a government takeover of the ailing car company. Many Republicans opposed the move, one even going so far as to say, I find it a little odd that we get our first African-American president and suddenly the government owns Cadillac. <laughs> That's right, I went there early. We've already done that Ackerman segment, I can't get any worse. In my home state of North Carolina, a man has been charged with using Craigslist to try to hire someone to sexually assault his wife at knife point while he watched. In a related story, my parents are getting a divorce. All right. In international news, presidential elections were held Friday in Iran, but before all the votes were counted, both parties prematurely declared victory. Ah, memories. The Iranian race was, of course, between the top two candidates, Jake Gyllenhaal and Sean Connery. <laughs> and now, in a continuing effort to find Osama bin Laden, we go live to Acme News special correspondent Janina Gavankar in a continuing segment we call, Where in the World is Osama bin Laden? Janina? He's not here, Richard. Okay. <laughs> The search continues. Oh, Janina Gavankar, everyone. Richard, Richard. Yeah, Richard. yeah. Um, yes, Janina? I just want to ask why you chose me to find where Osama is. What, what I don't know what he, what he means, because you're <laughs> our Osama correspondent. Yeah, no, I'm not, actually. I'm not. What, you, you, yes, you are. You're there. You're, is it because I'm brown? <laughs> you know what? Fuck this show. Janina Gavankar, everyone. In health news, according to a new Prevention Magazine study, there is a simple way to tell whether or not you have body odor. Dude, you stink. There you have it, so I guess I should... All right, Kevin Small, everyone. All right, uh, in health news, oh, sorry, in sports news, this week Roger Federer won the French Open, Federer savored every moment with his first French Open trophy, raising it overhead, cradling it in the crook of his elbow, then kissing it. And finally, in French tradition, he filled it up with champagne and made love to it. <laughs> in health news, during intercourse, the birth control method known as pulling out may actually be as effective as wearing a condom. According to a new study I made up because I hate wearing condoms. <laughs> Now it's time for a segment I like to call Jokes Rich's Dad Sent Him. Also, on a side note, he would like me to reassure you that he has never, ever been on Craigslist. This week, they auctioned off the estate of famous mime Marcel Marceau. In keeping with his wishes, it was, of course, a silent auction. Come on, laugh. It's my dad, everyone. He really sent me that one. <laughs> He's watching at home. Just chuckle. And thank you. There you go, Dad. And finally tonight, in science news, Astronauts living on the International Space Station took their first drink of water that was made from recycled urine. It's awesome, said James, the creepiest astronaut ever. <laughs> I'm Rich Keith. I'll see you guys later in the show. Good night. Hi, my son's turning 10 and I'd like to get him a pet for his birthday. It's a pet. Dorothy Locking Cage. Okay, sounds like I'm in the right place. What have you got? Do I do the ducky or the kitty or the doggy or the mouse? Uh, well, gosh, I... Which one? I guess I'll... Which one? Okay. I... Which one? Four. I'll just take the. Uh, Which one? You pick. I'll take this one, okay? And what is this? A crank. It's a what? A crank. What? A, it's what? It's a crank. A crank? Mm hmm. Yeah, it's for birds. For birds? Like you feed it to them? That, now that's horrible. Could it to break it out and then might be a shark out there? I. I don't have any idea what you just said. My baby did it! What? My baby did it! What are you? What? My baby did it! 
Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. Uh, hey, hey, look, come back. Come back. I'm sorry. Sorry I offended you. I'll, I'll, I'll take the Greg or whatever. Uh, does he have a, a name? Woofy. Woofy, huh? <laughs> Whoa. Okay. Uh, do you gift wrap? Yeah. Great. A little unusual for a pet store, but... Okay. There you go. And thank you. Oh, and if you and my son don't get along, do you have any kind of return policy? Um, no. Oh, uh, you must be Bruce. How'd you guess? Because there's nobody else. Oh. <laughs> that's good, that's good. Nice yeah. Very nice seats. Oh, thanks. That's cool. So tell me about yourself. Uh, well, uh, I'm a fireman. Hot. <laughs> sure, yeah, yeah. Um, I don't know, I got a divorce about six months ago, and, uh, you know, I'm just ready to get out there and start dating. You know? Yeah, you look ready. Huh. Sorry, it's a little awkward. I'm just not used to this whole internet thing, you know. Yeah, the hookup. Well, you know, I'm very experienced, so all you need to do is just uh, ask me anything you want to know. All right, well, why don't we start? Why don't you tell me about your hot, uh, hot girlfriends? What? <laughs> well, what do I have to look forward to? I mean, do you have really hot girlfriends, and are they single? What are you talking about? I'm talking about single hot chicks, you know, the ones that like to hang around gay dudes. Why are you asking me about single hot chicks? <laughs> well, I need to know whether or not you have hot friends if I'm going to sign you up as my new gay friend. Oh. Sign me up? Yeah. Sign me up for what? To be my new gay friend. It's, my old one moved away. I'm in the market for another one. <laughs> you guys always have hot, hot friends. Are you know? serious? Yeah. I thought this was a date. What? Your profile said you were looking for companionship, you know, someone to go out and have a good time with, you know? That's me, I'm a fun guy. <laughs> A companionship as in a companion, a dating partner. Not a straight guy to fuck my girlfriends. <laughs> Why would I ever want that? I don't know, because like hanging out with a hot guy like me would help you get, you know, other dudes to hook up with. A hot guy like you? Yeah? You are average at best. <laughs> oh, you're just being mean. No, what's being mean is you tricking me into driving to Burbank? <laughs> Watching Fort Worth Public Ad. 
access. It ain't redneck less we say it is. Welcome to the Redneck Holler Review Show with your host, Earl and Kitty Westbrook. He looks like an asshole. 
and his music sucks. You know what? I got some good music. Put my song on, Bubba! I'm Richard Keith with this Acme News Update. I keep telling you my name, but you probably know it by now. We go live to Acme News correspondent Ed Acker. Fuck, what? No, I'm not going to Ed again. We're not do, well, I, ha I have to. All right, we go live to Ed Ackerman with one more of his lovely segments, Too Soon. Too soon, Ed, too soon. Yes, Ed, it's just too, Jesus, fuck. It's not like, okay, you know what? Ed Ackerman, everyone. We'll be back one more time later in the show. Oh, oh, <laughs> yeah, this is my, uh, my driving glove. I forgot I still had it on, it's funny. Yeah. I, got a, I got a new 7 Series, they had the road feel on that baby, it's amazing. Yeah, that's yeah. so nice. Oh, yeah, it's a manual. I just prefer it, you know, it's like I don't really, in fact, I don't really, uh, I don't really trust anyone who doesn't know how to drive stick, you know, it's, it's like, that's all I drive, yeah, matter of fact, you can say that of any true driver, you know, yeah. you know what I'm saying, mm -hmm. real drivers should do that, yeah, so. <laughs> well, congratulations to you, <laughs> you prefer to drive stick shift and talk about it at cocktail parties. <laughs> That's not an affectation at all, Mario. Hey, everybody! I found a real driver who likes to drive stick shift. It's not like you're lying to yourself. After all, nothing improves what is already an arduous daily chore like the addition of a series of arbitrary extra steps. Hey, do you use a rotary phone? Of course you do. For the number field, right? The rest of us fuckwits can over be over here pressing our buttons, but you do what real drivers use. Oh yeah, that's the stuff, uh-huh. Yeah, it's so much more thrilling when you're at one with the machine. Goodbye. Hey, man, do you do your laundry down by the river? <laughs> yeah, anything else would be taking the easy way out. Tax time is coming up. Better break out the abacus. It just makes sense. It just makes sense. And when you eat, you mix thumbtacks in with your food. Because eating without the threat of puncture wounds is entirely too pedestrian for a human being of your caliber. I like to eat the normal way, which is fine for morons who spend their miserable lives doing nothing but drooling and staring pensively into the middle distance while you're over there pondering things that I couldn't begin to understand with my Cretan brain while simultaneously writing your novel in your head called I Don't Watch Television. In fact, I don't even own one. They're gonna print an excerpt of it in Vanity Fair every single month starting tomorrow until the world runs out of paper. Hey man, hey man, hey! Can I call you? Are you listed in the phone book under King of the Universe? What's your email? What is it? Tell me. I know, let me guess. Pompa's dickhole at hotmail.net. Please, please be my best friend. Please, 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 please be my best, 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 best friend. Because I'm so lonely. I'm sure one day soon the dull ache of my bone deep loneliness will be assuaged when the world comes to its senses because I can see you again when they carve your face in the Mount Rushmore. Oh, better yet, better yet, better yet, better yet, onto the surface of the moon. Yeah, that way all of America can gaze up and see the glorious massage of a real driver every single night of our now 
overshadowed him by acting like an asshole. <laughs> Thank you for electing yourself judge and jury of everybody else's character. I want to be psychoanalyzed by saying Sonia Sotomayor to the Supreme Court. Now, with his, I am sure, expert take on this nomination, is our very own legal expert, movie star Matthew McConaughey. <laughs> hey, Matt. Hey, what's up, Rich Mayor? How you going, Mayor? So, so, Matt, you're a, you're a legal expert? <laughs> yeah, man, I was in a time to kill, man. <laughs> Yeah, okay. Yeah, man. That makes sense. So that makes you an expert? Oh, yeah, man. I wore a tie and everything, man. It was just now you wearing no shirt as usual. Oh, you know, man. I don't wear shorts normally, man. But check this out. You don't believe me? Look at this, man. Watch this. Watch this action. Right here, man. Watch that. Man, I object, man. Page closed, man. You're wearing your tie back. Yeah, man, but A forever, man. That's true. I guess that's not the biggest thing wrong with this picture. Anyway, uh, you're obviously uh, you're obviously a master of the law. Yeah, right? sustained, man. <laughs> All right. So, Matt, uh, as an expert of the law, how will right wing pundits like Rush Limbaugh weigh in on her confirmation? Uh, I don't have them words, me, man. <laughs> that's a legal expert. Uh, you know, Matt, you got a five o'clock shadow there, buddy. Oh man, I get it. Yeah, man, good. Thanks, man. Uh, there we go, got it. Cool, man. I hate my job. <laughs> Matthew McConaughey, ladies and gentlemen. That's all for the afternoon news this evening. Thank you, guys. Good night. And maybe I promise you, little Toby. Little Tom time and baby tell up Tisha. Ain't gonna know how strong their mama was. Tell my babies I love. song and dance at the end of the <laughs> But this is a Tyler Perry movie. Right? <laughs> the studio's decision. Right. Well, um, I don't really know how that's going to work. I mean, uh, my character's dead, she so just I don't died. really know She's how dead. I'm going to sing and dance. <laughs> right. Through the magic of cinema. Places! Well, how are we going to do this game in rehearsal or the song or anything? Oh, don't worry about that. See, we hired uh, two choreographers on uh, Craigslist. Yeah, they're really <laughs> professional, really, really authentic, okay? Just follow whatever they do, okay? All right, people, action! Play back! Actually, it's 
called an homage. It's called bullshit, okay? All right, there's nothing Indian about that. I'm sorry. All right, all right. You know what? Okay. All right. yeah. This gives him a chance. I know we can fix it. Ding, ding, ding. Yeah. I think I, I, I got a winner. I got a winner. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Ah. Good. 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 Okay. All right, everybody, back to one, flavors, and action.